How are you doing today? Bob Vokes here for the Gilly Galoo. We're going to talk some spring stuff because there's lots of people talking about spring birds. There's all kinds of spring birds out there. Um, they're going to be arriving almost daily, weekly now as we get it sneak up on the 1st of April. Here we are the 26th of March, so April 1st is coming along pretty soon. And lots of things are going to change. And right about this time, people have a little bit of trouble with so-called, and I say that so-called, we're trying to provide solutions here for everybody in every circumstance. And we have a couple of things that re work really well for people that have trouble with starlings or common grackles or pigeons or any of those kind of things. Uh, two sides to that, that bit is that they often get into our suet. So we have uh, a couple of suet cakes here we're going to use for this demo. And then they often get uh, monopolize our, our feeders. So if you have a bigger tray feeder, a bigger hopper style feeder, stuff that's getting monopolized by grackles or starlings or any of that kind of stuff, and you can switch to a silos type feeder that's less than 18 inches tall, which is a key factor for one of the solutions. But we have these two pieced cage systems that work in conjunction with this type of silo feeder. This is a beautiful style feeder. This is a great product here. Uh, full polycarbonate plastics, very, very durable to UV rays and impact breakage. In fact, that has a lifetime warranty on that piece. Full metal uh, food ports with perch. There's nylon perch covers that are on the inside that allow to give them grip. Uh, has a really nice feature here, which is this big wide lip on the top, if you'll notice. So that's designed so any rain or water or ice or snow or sleet or anything that hits that, hits the top of that goes down around instead of going in the feeder. Another nice feature is that there's venting at the food ports here at the bottom. There's also this bridge on the inside. See this bridge on the inside here that is peaked in the center? Well, when the seed comes down, it hits that. Instead of compacting all in the middle, it forces it to the outside and, and where the food ports are as opposed to being lumped in the middle and, and the birds can't get to it and then it gets wet and then it gets uh, moldy and all that kind of stuff. The other nice feature about this particular style feeder is there's a spring-loaded mechanism to take the bottom off it to clean it. And this is where you can see the venting ports here. So there's airflow up through there, comes up through these little bits here, and vents at the food port. So great, great, great all-around feeder this. Just locks back into place. Simpity do da day. So we'll just take this piece of plastic off this puppy. So that done, but I didn't do it, so that's okay. And we'll get that right there. Inside the uh, cage itself, there is two idler pieces, one hole there, one hole here on either side, and then one clasp on either side of the feeder also. On the top part of the feeder, there are two wire pieces here, one here, one on the other side to go into the, the little idlers that I was talking about and then the clamps fit over top of it. So what then ends up happening with this style of a sidle feeder with this very flat top, the handles hold it up like so, it fits into the top part of your feeder, supports the whole cage and then you line the things up and you put it in and we'll just let that go and we'll go in there and we'll snap this up into place like so and like so voila you have something here that the smaller birds can access the larger birds cannot Although people do have uh, hairy woodpeckers and downy woodpeckers and chickadees and nuthatches and all those guys going through to access the food. I know it's going to be somewhat of a uh, limiting factor in terms of your overall feeding, but it's going to create a and present a solution to the birds emptying that feeder in the afternoon like the common grackles do. Um, some people have concerns that birds will not go through there. We have had this product now for probably, well, we've been here 10 years, and I think we've had it ever, ever since we opened here. Each time, each year we have this in the spring for this particular 
thing. So people have sent me pictures, they've uh, commented when they've been in the store and stuff that this works very, very well. Yes, it's gonna create some uh, problems for some of your other birds somewhat. May take them a little while to get used to it, uh, but once they start, they'll be in and out of there just to beat the band. This wider, big uh, uh, mouth food port silo feeder, you can have uh, all kinds of uh, regular blends or woodlands or seasons urban, our straight black oil sunflower seeds, town and country, our garden friendly. Any of our seed varieties will work well inside this feeder. So solution number one, we'll just sit this guy out of the place, out of the way and we'll go towards this number two. So just to make note, the feeder does not come with the cage. The cage is an independent piece that works, that works with your feeder. Two piece cage works with a silo feeder that is 18 inches in length or shorter. If it's longer than 18 inches, it won't work because the feeder's too big for the size of the cage. The next thing is uh, our suet. A lot of times people, even in the winter time, people have a huge problem with uh, starlings in particular getting on their, on their suet and just decimating it. So this is another solution that keeps the squirrels and stuff out of it as well. Uh, it has room inside for two suet cakes. It has a feature on the bottom that you can mount this on a pole. Uh, has a hanging handle that you can have here and also has two locking mechanisms, one on either side, so that you can spring that up. There's a spring on this underside that you undo the spring. Show it here. You have to put the label right here. Why they did that, I'm not sure. And then the spring is on the inside. You pop the lid open. Boy. Pop the lid open, there we go. And then two suet cakes go in here. On the inside, pop the lid back down, anchor the, all the anchor points together. Put your spring-loaded mechanism on so that they can't lift the lid. It's under tension, plus there's two locking clasps, one on either side. Fix that up after. And your nuisance birds, your starlings, your uh, pigeons and uh, squirrels and what have you cannot access it, but the other things again. And again, we've had this product for a number of years. It's been well field tested. People love it and it continues to work well. Thought I'd just provide those couple little solutions for you. Let me know if I can do anything for you. Got any questions, comments, concerns, shoot me an email and or give us a call at the shop. Have yourself a great day. www.gillygaloobird.com